Yo, what is up, my spirit family, my soul fam, gang to the MFA gang. What is going on with y'all? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Infinite Limits channel. <clears throat> I'm a spiritual teacher, a tarot reader, and a healer. And today we're taking a deeper dive into consciousness to get a message for the collective. Eat that, eat that, eat that, eat that. Today we're just going to be doing a little collective reading here. This will be a general collective reading for all signs. So it doesn't matter which sign you are. Um, I believe that if you're here watching this video, I don't believe in coincidences. So if you're here watching, I believe that there's something in uh, this video, in this message for you, my friend. And so we're going to get right into it here. All the information that you need is down in the description box below. I just want to thank everyone for your donations, your time. Um, sending your comments, your likes, uh, subscribing to the channel. If you haven't subbed to the channel yet, please subscribe. That would mean the world to me. And um, if you want to be kept updated with my content, you like this content, uh, hit the notification bell. You'll be kept updated with when I make new content and when I go live. So um, I will be going live here soon. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I haven't done a live stream in a while, so you guys can look forward to that. And yeah. Um, yeah, so let's just get right into it here. I have some messages from Spirit here. Um, I'm going to do some positive affirmations for the day. So let's see what we got here. Positive affirmations for the collective. Get us in a bright, sunshiny mood today. Um, I am dedicated. I am dedicated. I face my fears and I confront anything that stands in my way of success. I become trustworthy and I treat others the way I want to be treated. Thank you for my beautiful qualities that make me unique. I am dedicated. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. My nose is a little stuffy. Okay. Um, don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your past hold you back. I move forward in my life despite the difficulties I face. I release the people, places, and things of my past with love. Thank you for being able to start anew. Don't let your past hold you back. And last but not least, we have I am divine. I am divine. I respect my body and other people around me in my life. I understand and know the divine power dwelling within me, and I use it for good. Thank you for putting your spirit within me. I am divine. Comment down below. I am divine. Um, comment down below. Uh, I do not let my past hold me back. Comment down below. I am dedicated. Okay, those are your affirmations for the day collective. Um, we'll see what we'll see what's up with the houses. We'll see if the what house will be involved in this reading what houses will be involved okay we had some cars just fly out here uh we have the 11th house so that's all about hopes and wishes community good spirit friendship groups and luck the 11th house i'll keep that out there for a reference while we're doing the reading okay i dropped a card uh we have the 10th house going to my grandma's house um we have career Fame, reputation, profession, and public. The 10th house. Okay, so we have the uh, 10th and 11th house uh, that's going to be involved in this reading. So um, I got my wanks to swag on. Got my little tilted hat here. <laughs> what up? What it do? What it do? You got a problem? <laughs> Say it to my face. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. All right. Um, not trying to start no drama. Uh, but yeah. So let's see. Uh, what do I want to do next? Um, yeah. So here's uh, the messages from Spirit here. I, I was hearing the other day something really funny. Uh, something about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So some of you out there may resonate with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And in the story of Rudolph, um, his nose shined too bright. So nobody else wanted to hang out with him. And, um, and it, it turns out that Rudolph had like a purpose. He had like a mission. He was... Um, uh, 
he was meant to be the leader of the uh, the reindeer uh, to light the path for Santa Claus. Okay, but Rudolph, um, he was um, what's the word I'm looking for? Ostracized. He was uh, ca cast aside uh, because uh, he was different. Okay, so uh, I feel like many of you may resonate with Rudolph. Um, you know. You may have been abandoned. You may have been, um, you know, cast aside, uh, underestimated in your life um, because of the light within you, because of your potential and because you have a purpose and, and a meaning uh, here on this earth. And so m many may have, um, you know, betrayed you or um, uh, made you feel less than or not a part of or whatever. But um, you know how the story ends in Rudolph is that uh, he ends up uh, leading all the other reindeer and he was actually a leader um, and he ends up being the most important character uh, of the story. So um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is significant, okay? Uh, First Kings 434, um, I don't have it open with me right now. Here, I'll look it up. Let's see here because I wrote that down and I feel like it's significant. I think it's, yeah, first Kings four, three, four. Sorry guys. Just give me a moment. Huh? Three, four. Go and make my blessing, my gospel, my grace, my mercy, my life, known among all the nations. So God, help us to make this connection in our lives. Huh. I feel like that's not the verse that I wanted to share. Maybe I wrote that down incorrectly. Huh, whatever. We're moving on. Uh help is coming okay spirit is saying at this time that help is on the way help is coming um this will be unexpected so if you feel like you've been doing a lot on your own you feel that uh you haven't really um you had the help that you needed uh necessary uh to attain your goals or um i feel that many of you are very independent you don't really need help you don't really need other people um i think everybody in life um everybody needs somebody, right? It, it's like, we say we don't need other people, but I would not be where I am today if it wasn't for the help of other people. And if somebody out there that I know personally uh, was in my life um, and you're watching this video right now, I personally thank you for um, being a support in my life. And um, because I, I truly feel I wouldn't be here if it wasn't the help of other people. But I do understand independence and not necessarily needing other people. You're, you're very independent. You can live on your own um but you feel like uh you know you haven't had uh the the uh support that you that's necessary um the ingredients necessary to really do what you want to create to really create what you want to create and really um manifest what you want to uh bring into reality so um spirit is saying that help is coming it will be unexpected okay longest living bloodline okay um spirit was talking to me about uh some kind of bloodline there's some kind of um ancient magical you're part of some kind of the longest living bloodline. Um, something is significant about your blood, about your DNA, okay? Um, there's some kind of secret. It's a rare family lineage. There's something about some some rare family lineage that your ancestors may have been a part of or your bloodline. Um, something significant about that, all right? Um, dream. Uh, I had a dream uh, about like a bug and um in the dream the bug was flying around and then it turned into a worm so it was almost like the the bug like reversed it like um it like evolved in reverse so there may be something significant about that somebody may be backsliding in their life or they may just be like going backwards or maybe uh there's another message there that i'm not seeing but um you know it was i, I feel like it was significant enough to bring up and talk about in the reading um something to do with matters of the heart so uh you could be working on your heart chakra or you could 
excuse me, you could be dealing with matters of the heart right now. Um, you could be uh, reminiscing or looking back at uh, past relationships you've been in, um, you know, even thinking about family relationships, you know, people that you love. Um, you're dealing, you, you could be healing your heart right now. Remember to thank God for what he's doing in your life. So uh, remember to uh, give thanks to the Most High for everything that you have in your life. Even if you haven't gotten to where exactly where you would like to be yet, know, uh, know that, you know, give thanks anyway. Be grateful for the things you already have in your life, even if you don't necessarily have exactly what uh, you you want to manifest in your life just yet. Um, because just know and believe that it is coming and that it's on the way, okay? Um, there's something about a love spell. Somebody lied, okay? There was something about... Somebody could have put some kind of love spell on you. Something to do with Venus energy. Somebody could have been harnessing some kind of energy from the planets. Uh, the planet Venus is all about love. I, I believe it's a feminine uh, energy. Uh, some kind of love spell and, and they lied. Spirit wants you to know they lied. Something about a 10 year old girl and ghost farmers um, is significant. I, I don't know. Take it as it resonates with you. Uh, something about ghost farmers. Um twice something about the number two okay so you could be a life path number two maybe you're born on the second of the month maybe you were born in february um something about the number two numero dos um you change someone you uh with your abilities and with your spirituality you have literally changed somebody um, and it, it wasn't, it wasn't directly, you literally changed someone, but by your influence, by just being who you are, um, you influence somebody to change their mind about life and to head in a different direction, a better direction, a more healthy direction, a more positive direction. You change somebody. Somebody has been watching you relentlessly. They're stalking and watching because they are apart from you. That you no longer have contact with this person. You no longer speak with this person. Um, you, this person is no longer a part of your life. But they are still watching you on social media. Okay, they want to see how your story ends. Um, something like this. But uh, spirit is saying it's your turn. It's your turn now. The wheel. We uh, the wheel of fortune has been coming out a lot in the cards. We know that. Um, the karmic wheel is turning, okay, and the wheel is turning, and many people, uh, there's a Bible verse, and it goes like this, uh, the first shall be last, and the last shall be first, the, the last shall be first, the first shall be last, so um, there's going to be a real role reversal here coming up, um, where people who were at, in the last and uh, were coming up last are going to be first, and those who were in the first are going to be last. And um, they're very afraid of this. Uh, they're very afraid of being called out for uh, their wickedness, for being thrown in jail. Um, they're very afraid to be taken out of their power because they've been living these luxurious lifestyles for so long. And um, they're afraid of people uniting and coming together. And I feel like that's something that I truly represent here on the channel is unity, is um, love, love and light and uh coming together of those uh energies and uh to create something wonderful to create something amazing um so yeah uh those are your messages from spirit for the day we're gonna head into the tarot now uh, i gotta get my cards excuse me Alrighty, 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 alrighty. <laughs> we're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it. <laughs> Sorry, I had to bust a move. <laughs> I love to dance, you know, that's something, uh, I don't care if I look like a stupid white boy. Uh, <laughs> I love dancing, I love to have fun, man, I, lo I love life, you know. So uh, let's give the deck a good shuffle. Cutting the deck, we have the strength card. Uh, someone could be going within, mustering up the strength that they need in order to move forward in a situation. All right. 
Somebody is mustering up the strength. Okay, justice card is here. You're receiving justice at this time because you had the strength to um, overcome all adversity in your life. Um, you had the strength to overcome the difficulties in your life, no matter what that was, uh, whether that manifested in the form of a person in your life coming into your life or a relationship or some kind of third party situation, you conquered this situation. You had the strength in order to, uh, stay, uh, grounded, uh, mentally stable and to continue forth on your journey, despite the difficulties you faced. Um, I feel like you have faced a lot of, uh, depression, anxiety, and fear in your life life. You may have even contemplated suicide many different times in your life um, uh, because of these people or because of these relationships, these karmic relationships that were in your life that were meant to put you in that mind state of depression and sadness and whatever, what have you. And um, you overcame that sadness uh, by looking, by changing your perspective. You changed your mindset. You changed the way you look at the world. And that allowed for you to step into your true authentic energy to step into your true authentic self so that was very difficult for you to overcome that um but it uh and, and i don't feel like it's ever god's intention for us to suffer but from that pain and suffering he always takes what's bad and he makes it into our good so um you truly transmuted this energy of sadness and depression and because I feel like many people are just very nihilistic and they look at their life as meaningless, like we're just a parasite on the earth. And I just don't believe that. I, I truly believe that uh, life is, uh, I believe we're sanctified. I believe that uh, there's a um, reverence of life. And I, I, I think we have a conscious intelligence and that is very special and unique to us. And um, there's no nothing else on this planet like that. And nothing else in the universe that we've found so far that uh, would say that, you know, and that's not to say I don't believe in aliens or uh, extraterrestrials or other forms of life. I mean, it, the universe is so big, they're bound to be out there somewhere, right? But it's like, um, I believe more in interdimensional uh, beings, uh, beings that are at, a, I believe in multi-dimensions, that there's many dimensions in our life and that, um, you know, uh, life is interdimensional. And so that's my my theory on it. You know, you, we, people see th strange things in the sky. They see uh, weird uh, craft and stuff like that. They say it's extraterrestrials. I truly believe it's interdimensional. I, I feel like they're beings that are just at a higher frequency and vibration to us. Um, um, there uh, that are different levels okay so that's that's my belief on it and i don't know why i'm talking about this right now somebody who's watching may be into that kind of stuff you may be into the paranormal you may be into ufos ufology um you may be into that kind of thing and uh welcome <laughs> welcome to the family because here at infinite limits we believe in the paranormal we believe in uh the weirdness of life uh we stay weird here and we talk about that kind of thing here and so um if you are about that kind of stuff Welcome, gang to the gang, and we're going to get into the message now and just see what's going on. Um, you know, I, I feel, you know, I go off on these tangents sometimes, but I, I, I just like to talk. I like to talk about the weird, the strange, um, and, uh, you know, and I, uh, the strength card came up, and you, you truly are a person who has been through many challenges in your life. Um, we have a lot of cards that just fell out here. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, don't have to be. This will be a general collective uh, reading for all signs. So uh, you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, though. Um, so we have um, Knight of Swords. The swords are all about the airwaves. So uh, King of Pentacles is like somebody who is like uh, financially, uh, they're abundant. Um, they're financially stable. Um, they're very caring. Uh, they, they're, they're givers. They like to give, um, you could be a part of like a, a religion. You could be, you know, um, you could be very into, um, like doing the right thing for the right reasons and like you give to people and stuff the knight of swords swords are all about the airwaves so this could be um a sign of some kind of communication coming in from somebody or some kind of message uh that you could be receiving um So I, I feel like this very like knightly energy, like you, uh, like um, you know, a warrior, 
you know, you're receiving complete emotional fulfillment at this time. Somebody could be coming in to offer you a cup of love or, uh, you know, we were talking about how you were going to be receiving help. So somebody could be coming in to offer emotional support to you or some kind of support of some kind uh, it, when it comes to your emotions and feelings. All right. Uh, somebody else is feeling or this could be you uh, confused. Um, this is like being trapped willingly like um, or, or being trapped and um, mentally mental entrapment okay somebody could want you in this energy they want you mentally trapped they want you blocked off from your blessings they want you blocked off from your intuition they don't want you to be able to receive the messages that spirit has for you and they definitely don't want you um conversing and 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 um sharing your message with other people uh they they would prefer it for you to just shut up and stop speaking now but uh that's too bad for them because i'm just gonna keep doing my thing because i love to do it and and so um, I'm not going to stay mentally entrapped. You're not going to stay mentally entrapped. And, um, you know, it's all an illusion. You know, this whole world is a Maya. The whole 3D world is an illusion. And um, okay, your uh, justice card. So the justice card is here. Um, we have death. All right, and we have the Knight of Wands. All right, the Wands are fire energy. So we could, you could be a, a, a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Uh, don't have to be again. Um, this could be a sign that you're dealing with. Uh, we have the Death card ruled by Scorpio. Uh, I believe Scorpio and Leo, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Justice here, so Libra. We have a Libra here. Um... Some kind of death is taking place. Okay, this could be an actual physical death in somebody's life. Or um, this is just a death to a situation. It could be a death to this confusing, conflicting energy or this mental entrapment energy that these people keep trying to put you under. Or that some, um, you know, it says in the word we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but of like spiritual principalities and stuff like that. And like, I don't really literally blame all my problems on another person or their actions. I truly believe that the wars we fight in our lives and battles we fight is spiritual in nature. So it's like, um, there, there could be an ending to like this entrapment energy or people trying to, um, mentally entrap you, um, uh, mind control you. Uh, stuff of this nature, okay? You could be receiving some kind of message, somebody who is outgoing, um, somebody who loves nature. Um, I see Egypt, uh, like hieroglyphs here. So somebody, uh, this could be a person from your past life. You could share some kind of Egypt, uh, Egyptian um, uh, ancestral roots is what I'm hearing. Uh, Egyptian ancestral roots with someone uh this could be a fire sign an aries leo or sagittarius they could be coming in to communicate to you something or you could be receiving a message um something about justice and a death that took place all right yeah the, uh the hierophant is here so you could be somebody who is like a religious leader or you're somebody who's a spiritual teacher. You have a lot of knowledge and wisdom to give to other people. Um, you, you're rich from life's experiences. Um, very much like the Queen of Swords, um, except uh, the Hierophant is very uh, is more spiritual based. Um, this is somebody who's a leader. OK, other people look up to this person. Um, this person uh, has a kind nature. Um, they choose the moral high road. So if they are put placed in a position where they they either choose right or wrong, depending on what your version of right or wrong is, he, this person usually chooses the right road or the right path. Um, and many people may, uh, insult this person's intelligence, insult this person's choices or their um, way of being because of this, because they choose right. Uh, they think this person is stupid. You're not stupid for choosing right. Actually, you're probably the most smartest person out of all your friend group or family because when you choose and do what is right, you are protected by love. You are protected because you do what is right. And um, so... Also, because you do what is right, 
everybody gets what what comes around goes around and when you're constantly giving good best believe that good comes back to you it does come back to you and all the bad that people sow that comes back to them so by you choosing the moral high road and choosing to do right in your life you're gonna reap the reward of that very soon or if you're not already receiving that Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, can we please get a clear, accurate message? I'm trying to figure this out. This message is a little scattered today, guys. I'm, um... All right, yeah, the moon. Okay, so there's secrets. All right, some kind of uh, hidden deception, some kind of plan, or... Um... Some kind of... Something hidden in the darkness, okay? Something is covered up here. Something is hidden. Can you please clarify? Yeah. All right. So there's something is hidden about somebody that walked away. All right. Somebody has walked away from a situation. They invested eight out of 10 cups and they're deciding to leave uh, something behind. All right. This is a secret though. Nobody knows that this person has left. some kind of secret that somebody somebody could be leaving someone or leaving a situation leaving a place and it's a secret all right you are uh currently um working on something okay eight of pentacles you're working diligently on some kind of project plans or goals okay you're working on something diligently you're going through some kind of creative process. This is allowing you to stand in this Hierophant energy. There's a Queen of Cups in the Reverse here. This is a nasty person. Queen of Cups in the Reverse. Not loving, not caring. unsympathetic towards others okay there's a queen in the re uh, queen of cups in the reverse there's some kind of secrets when it comes to this person they're walking away from a situation this is a secret some kind of death to a situation okay um you are working on something you're you're working diligently on some kind of um project uh you're going through a creative process at this time and you continue to do so all right uh, you're receiving justice right now. You're just desserts is what I'm hearing. Okay. Receiving just desserts. For some kind of mental entrapment that somebody uh, attempted to put you in. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this queen of cups in this re reverse, this unloving, uncaring, uncompassionate, unsympathetic person, this karmic individual has some type of secrets. They walked away from a situation. Their ships are not coming in. Uh, love is not coming in for this person. Okay. Interesting. Okay, you are looking for uh, forward uh, ahead. You're looking towards the future. Uh, you know, you could be going on a journey. You're going on some kind of journey. You're going on some kind of mission, some kind of uh, something to do with your life purpose and plan plans. Uh, you could be feeling very creative, outgoing at this time. Um, you're, you're receiving some kind of inheritance. You're receiving some kind of money. Um, somebody could have been holding on to something for a long time. It could have been hidden in the, and it could have been something that was hidden or unknown to other people. Um, so you are receiving your reward. Uh, you're going to receive it. Okay. You're receiving some kind of inheritance and this is going to allow you, um, to work even more on your, your projects and your goals to fund, uh, that, 
Um, you're going to be a spiritual teacher, a healer, somebody who is very healing to the community, somebody others look up to. Um, you're, uh, this is your justice to be in this position, this Hierophant position, this spiritualist type of person. Um, you're, you're going on, you're going to be going on many journeys, uh, and, uh, you're receiving an inheritance. You're receiving some kind of award or money. Uh, for, this is directly from the divine. This is from the hands of God. Okay. All right. So that's enough of that. Um, we're 30 minutes in, um, see what's going on all right so um we have predictive programming somebody uh recently went through an ego death con artist in the reverse some kind of con artist had a ego death getting creative akashic records uh, when these people, they, they tried to get creative when it came to your Akashic records, this all backfired and reversed on them. This was a con artist. They may have had some kind of ego death or something. They're fake flexing. They could go to college or school or they went to the same school as you. All right. Pluto, something about Pluto, uh, radiance, aspiration, originality, creativity, passion, and ambition. They wanted to kill off and destroy your passion, your radiance. Uh, they wanted to cut off your flow. Um, they wanted to cut off uh, this beautiful, vibrant, amazing energy that you have. Uh, they want to stop it, okay? Uh, because they have control issues. These control issues are backfiring onto them. They could have been part of some kind of insurance fraud or tried to involve you in some kind of scheme or fraud. It backfired. It reversed on them. Um, thinks you're dumb, unintelligent. These people no longer think you're dumb or unintelligent. Um, you could be becoming a business owner. I did look at the houses. It's all about hopes and wishes, the community, good spirits, friendship, groups, and luck. And we have the 10th house, career, fame, reputation, profession, and public. So you could be stepping into a new leadership position. We have the Hierophant. So you could be stepping into that um, spiritual leader energy. Somebody wanted to stop your radiance, your aspiration, your originality, your creativity, your passion. They wanted they wanted to stop all of it, okay? Um, you're too powerful. Uh, somebody wants you to let them go, okay? Because they're jealous of your writing and your poetry skills, or you could be a writer or poet. You're too powerful for these people. You want them to let you go. They could be jealous of you. Okay, laugh it off. So no need to worry about any of this. Just laugh it off. It's over. The, these people are haters. They're haters. They fake front. Could have a hidden enemy that's short. Workout and gym. I'm not going to get too deep in with these cards today. Um, mm, I'll do some Angel Wish cards. Uh, we have the beauty you seek will resonate in nature. You know you can do it, okay? So whatever you're doing or, or uh, attempting to accomplish at this time, keep doing it. Spirit is uh, encouraging you to continue on your journey. You are never alone, believe. So continue to believe in yourself. Continue to believe in your dreams, your goals, your um, aspirations. Um, spirit is with you. Continue to believe. You're never alone. Know that you're never alone. Your angels are always with you. Your spirit guides, God. Um, the divine is always with you. You're never really alone. Even when you're alone or feel alone. Know that you could always go to them for guidance and support. All right, only think positive thoughts as your desires are manifesting at this time. 
your family needs you right now call upon your angels to give you strength and when it comes to your family and whatever's going on in your family at this time call upon uh angelic support uh, don't listen to others as the messages you're receiving are correct. So listen to your intuition at this time. Do not listen to what other people are telling you, uh, especially if it's bringing you down. Continue to listen to your gut and your intuition when it comes to the direction that you're heading in at this time. Okay. Um... I've been reading out of this one prayer book. It's by John Eckhart, Prayers That Bring Healing and Activate Blessings. Um, I don't know. Let's see if we can get something in here. I just want to do a short one. I don't want to... Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Uh, these are covenant uh, confessions. I'm going to pray for myself and anybody who may be watching at this time. Uh, shalom. Prosperity and peace are mine through Jesus Christ. I am a saint of God. I am a child of God. I am, uh, sorry, I have a covenant with God. My covenant is a covenant of peace, prosperity, and blessing. I walk in the covenant all the days of my life. I enjoy shalom, prosperity, peace, and safety all the days of my life. I will walk in covenant. I will be faithful to the covenant through the blood of Jesus. I have a covenant of shalom, peace, and prosperity in my life. Uh, these are prayers uh, for the blessing of Deuteronomy 28. I'm not really sure exactly what that means, but uh, we'll read a couple of these. Lord, you keep a covenant and mercy with those who love you and keep your commandments. Lord, you bless those who obey your voice and keep your covenant. Lord, I take hold of your covenant through your death and sacrifice. I choose life, blessing. Let your blessing come upon me and overtake me. Let me be blessed in the city and blessed in the field. Let the fruit of my body be blessed and let all the fruit of my labor be blessed. Let my basket and store be blessed. Let me be blessed coming in and blessed going out. Let the enemies of my soul flee before me seven ways. Command your blessing upon my storehouses and all I set my hands to, and bless my land. Establish me as a holy person unto you, Lord. Let all people see that I am called by your name. Make me plenteous and good. Open unto me your good treasure and let heaven's rain fall upon my life and bless the work of my hands. Let me lend, give, Onto my, many nations and not borrow. Make me the head and not the tail. Let me be above only and not beneath. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I And amen. And so it is. So mote it be. Namaste. And uh, I wish those blessings upon each and every one of you. In Jesus' mighty name. And I thank each and every one of you for being here. I thank you for coming and joining me uh, for this message today. This was just supposed to be a short little reading, but I guess I got a little carried away here. I haven't really do dove into my own deck lately. And I, I don't know. I haven't, I've been doing things a little differently lately. Maybe I've been a little experimental uh, with the channel, you know, seeing what people like. But um, I'm just going to keep listening to my intuition. And I'm just going to keep doing as spirit leads me. Uh and doing you know yeah doing what uh what god has called me to do each and every day and uh and i i love doing this i love jumping on cam this isn't a chore for me it's not like oh i have to make a video today it's like i get to make a video today and um i get to come on i get to converse with you guys i get to um expose the devil and his works and uh you know i'm just kidding around guys um but I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, leave something nice down in the comments below. Uh, all the information you need is down in the description box. Please like this video so that this video can get to whoever needs to see it. Um, also, the information that any information you need is down below. Um, you know, if you'd like to donate or 
you'd like to send me an email my email is listed down below you can shoot me an email anytime um if you're thinking about uh getting a personal reading or you would like to talk about that we can talk about it so um i'm open uh i'm open the stole house is open <laughs> so uh i'll talk to you guys later gang to the gang i'm out